If there's a cyber attack on digital wallets, right, or if, there, or if there's a cyber attack on crypto exchanges, the, does it actually undermine the software? So does it undermine blockchain because people bundle it into one? Yeah, so the Internet was formed uh, in a naive time decades ago, and it's been built uh, without the benefit of foundational strong cryptography. Uh, and so we've seen so many different attacks, uh, Equifax, for instance, uh, so many different attacks on financial systems, on identity systems. They haven't undermined uh, the World Wide Web or they haven't undermined the global economy. Um, these attacks uh, will continue in our ecosystem. The ecosystem is still young. Uh, it's maturing. It's hardening. Um, none of these attacks will be uh, existential threats to the system. Uh, we just learn from these attacks and we build better systems. All right, Joseph, your company has a fund that's worth $50 million to invest in blockchain startups. How do you invest? How do you choose where you invest? What qualities do you need to, to figure out to, to, before you put your money there? Um, so it's, it's really quite general. Uh, initially, we felt that we had broad and deep experience in the uh, Ethereum and blockchain space and that our capital was best deployed internally. We have processes for uh, building out projects and maturing those. Um, but 12 months ago, our ecosystem exploded. Uh, we are focused on uh, decentralizing technologies. We're focused on enabling the world to build better systems for itself. And that involves uh, trusted transactions and automated agreements on it and decentralized storage and decentralized bandwidth and, and high uh, heavy compute and communication systems. So um, there are many different projects in our ecosystem mm -hmm. and we just want a front row seat in some of the, uh, the best projects. We want to support uh, projects that are, are adjacent mm -hmm. to our ecosystem or complementary to our ecosystem.